Dog de Bordeaux are certainly magnificent, striking looking dogs, but have you ever wondered about their temperament? Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the personality of this wonderful giant breed. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dog de Bordeaux show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Dog de Bordeaux show. So let's dive into today's video and find out more. The Dog de Bordeaux is a large powerful looking breed. Male Dog de Bordeaux can stand up to 27 inches at the withers and weigh anywhere from 110 pounds. Females are usually smaller and lighter. The Dog de Bordeaux have a large head with an overshot jaw, small ears that are a little bit darker than the all over coat colour. They have a very strong neck and a muscular back. This breed should have a deep long chest and powerful legs too. But enough about their aesthetics. Now let's move on to their temperament. The Dog de Bordeaux is a loyal, courageous and affectionate breed. They make excellent family guard dogs as they're large, powerful, fiercely territorial, protective and will defend their family with aggression if needed. However, when they're off duty, they're a playful, docile companion with hearts of gold. They create incredibly strong bonds with their family and are said to hate conflict between family members, even sometimes trying to intervene in family disputes to bring them to an end. Although they're very affectionate, they sometimes don't realise their size, so caution should be exercised if your Bordeaux is around young children, as they could easily be knocked over. It's also crucial that you teach any children how to behave around your canine. The Dog de Bordeaux need positive reinforcements and plenty of rewards. They need calm, consistent leaders that will start training and socialisation from the day you bring your puppy home. They don't respond well to harsh corrections or tone of voice. They are a breed that want to please their owners, which makes consistent training easier than it can be with other breeds. It's crucial, however, that potential owners understand the exercise requirements of this breed, as they can become very difficult to handle and train if their energy hasn't been properly expelled. They need at least an hour of exercise every day, alongside plenty of daytime and mental stimulation. Boredom and dog de Bordeaux can very easily lead to unwanted behaviours like barking at passers-by or anyone who visits your house and chewing whatever they can get their teeth in. This can be trained out of the breed but it's very time consuming, can take serious dedication and consistency. Hey guys, sorry to quickly interrupt the video, I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first book has come out, is now officially published and ready for you to check out if you are interested. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret to Success. I think you'll find it really valuable and if you'd like to check it out, there will be a link in the description box below. Dog de Bordeaux also have a very high prey drive and if not socialised properly with different people, sights and sounds, this instinct can override you and your commands. It's crucial with a dog this size that you ensure you have a perfect recall every time before even thinking about letting them off the lead. For this reason, it's not recommended to keep this breed with small animals or cats. It isn't impossible for them to live alongside other smaller animals when socialised from puppyhood, but they should never be left alone unsupervised. Make sure you give your Bordeaux puppy plenty of good experiences when doing new things. Introduce them to as many different types or size of animals that you can, but build up these experiences gradually. If your puppy is well socialised, it'll eliminate potential behavioural problems later in life and help ensure your dog de Bordeaux grows to be an outgoing and friendly dog. The dog de Bordeaux is certainly a striking breed and is sure to turn a few heads while you're out about with them. They're ideal for anyone looking for an active breed and a family guardian. Their large appearance can look quite intimidating, but with the right work and consistent approach, they can become perfect, lovable companions with gentle and loyal temperaments. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss any future updates. We have two regular Dr. Bordeaux videos dropping here every single week. So, I can't wait to see you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Dr. Bordeaux Show.